New at 11, the federal government beefing up security efforts for F1 just a couple weeks away from the big race. And as A News Now investigator Kyle Payne tells us, the Department of Homeland Security raising that threat level from a three where it's been for quite a while to level two. I spoke with Congresswoman Dina Titus, whose district includes the sprawling racetrack behind me. She says organizers could use more security because this is a global event, bringing in people and possible threats from anywhere and everywhere. And there's no predicting the worst that could happen. It could be any range of things. It could be something like a, a planned attack, which we hope would never happen. It could be a fight breaking out like you see at football games. Even the biggest football game of the year, the Super Bowl, is less of a security threat, according to Congresswoman Dina Titus, because the sprawling 3.8-mile racetrack, including and surrounding the world-famous Las Vegas Strip, isn't contained to just one arena. So she asked the federal government to step in and provide more security, more money, more bomb-sniffing dogs, and more police presence. We don't want this to go bad. We Titus said she spoke with Metro's sheriff, Kevin McMahill, about the security threat also. F1 is, is, quite frankly, it's a nightmare for me. Whose candid comments earlier this year put the F1 security risk into perspective. This type of an event is something that we've never dealt with before. The size of the footprint that we've never dealt with before. And, you know, the threat is huge. Right. That's why I'm back with my conversations with him, I realize how important it is to have all hands on deck. Congresswoman Titus says the current system for determining the level of security needed for an event like this is rather subjective. And she'll be introducing legislation to make that more clear for future F1 races. Reporting at Turn 4, Kyle Payne, 8 News Now. And we asked to speak with someone from the Las Vegas Grand Prix, and they sent this statement, which reads in part, We appreciate the work of Representative Titus and others in securing additional resources and support from the federal government. The safety of all who attend and work at the Las Vegas Grand Prix is one of the utmost concern and priority, and we are working in close coordination with all. Look forward to putting on a fantastic race and secure event for all.